Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video, and today I wanted to go over everything you need to know about the second Horizon Zero Dawn event quest that has just gone live. The one you need to complete if you want to craft the Aloy armor set and bow. So if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated, and be sure to comment down below, let me know if you guys have got this for yourself, and what do you think of it. Now, first things first, much like the last one, this is unfortunately only for PS4 players since Horizon Zero Dawn is a PlayStation IP. But for those of you looking to get this armor, then if you head over to the quest board, scroll down to event quests, and then select the quest The Proving, this is the quest you need to do. It'll have you hunt a giant Anjanath in the Ancient Forest. It's a six star quest, so you'll need to be HR 11 or higher. And given that this is a giant Anjanath, it's also a guaranteed gold crown for your guild card. Handy if you're chasing that trophy. Upon completing the quest, you'll receive a Nora Brave Trophy ticket. Typically, you'll get one to two of these per completion. My first few runs gave me two each, the later runs only one. But either way, these are the items you'll need to collect in order to forge the armor set and the bow. You'll need nine in total, four for the armor, two for the bow, and then three for the second bow upgrade. Now, this quest runs up until March 15th, so you have a couple of weeks to gather all the bits that you need. But even if you miss it, don't worry, these quests will rotate back in in the future. That also applies to the Horizon Palico quest too. However, assuming you've gathered all the pieces that you need, then head over to the smithy. For the armor, go to forge, scroll down to full armor sets, and you can then craft the Aloy armor. You can upgrade the armor if you want to use it and make it viable, plus you can even augment it too. So if you truly wanted it to become an endgame set for you, then at least on the defense front, it'll see you through. As for the skills, this has the two Anjanath set bonuses, Adrenaline to temporarily reduce stamina depletion when health is at 40%, and Stamina Cap up to increase your stamina cap. It also has Marathon Runner level 2 to slow down stamina depletion for actions that continually drain stamina. Slinger Capacity level 2, allowing you to load more ammo in your Slinger. And level 2 means this can also apply to some of the ammo types dropped by monsters too. Stealth level 2 makes it easier for monsters to lose sight of you. Weakness Exploit level 1 to increase affinity by 15% on attacks that hit weak spots. Scent Hound level 1 to increase the gauge fill rate by 50%, and Affinity Sliding to increase affinity further by 30% after you slide for a short time. Now admittedly not the best set of skills, but the armor does have a pretty generous set of decoration slots, so there's room to play around here, or if you want to just lean more into the set, you could push those level 2 skills up to a level 3. However, on top of this, there is the Aloy Bow. After crafting the base version, there's also an upgrade, making it a Rarity 6 bow, meaning you can augment it should you want to. It has 192 base attack, 30% affinity, hidden thunder element of 240, so you'd need an awakened decoration for this, and luckily it has a level 3 slot, so you could either slot in that awakened jewel, or perhaps something like the mighty bow jewel for a further level of charge. It also has 3 augment slots, however the only one let down is that it doesn't support power coatings. Close range, paralysis, and improved poison by default, of course you could gem in things like sleep, but ultimately this is going to be more of a status bow than anything else. But either way, that's pretty much it. That is the quest, the armor, and the bow. So if you guys want to get this for yourself, you can start doing so now. If you have any questions, by all means let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.